now is Tammy Nobles, who is the mother of Kaya Hamilton, the 20-year-old who was raped and murdered in 2022, allegedly by an illegal alien with ties to the MS-13 gang. Tammy, I know you must, your heart must be breaking um, for Lake and Riley's family. You've been warning about this for years. Tell us what your thoughts are tonight after seeing another tragedy like the one that befell your family. I am so sad and so angry that it, that this has happened to another mother, the same that what happened to Kayla. Kayla was just sleeping in her bed, in her home, and she was brutally murdered and raped. And now this young lady was just running. Our young women aren't safe. Our young women are not safe. But Tammy, this is the open border policy of the Biden administration. They, they could have stopped this years ago. They decided they wanted as many people to come into the country as possible. That is their policy. And they're, they're pro-women, we're all for girls, girl power. How many times do you hear that? And to that, you say tonight? Um, oh, I don't see no girl power. I mean, I see our women being killed, murdered, and raped, and nobody's doing anything. Nobody is standing up and doing anything. I am trying to do what I can to bring awareness and to keep this from happening and to let government officials know something has to be done. Something has to be done. This cannot keep happening. Tammy, uh, tonight, Joe Biden, who is supposedly going to travel to the border um, this week, finally, um, did make a comment about the border while enjoying some ice cream. Watch. I've been planning to go Thursday. What I didn't know is uh, my good friend apparently is going. And will you meet with migrants while you're there, Mr. President? Well, I'm not going to announce ahead of time. Secret Service doesn't like me announcing exactly. Uh, Tammy, it's kind of hard to hear him, but, you know, it, it's hard to take him seriously when he can't put down the ice cream cone long enough to talk about the crisis. Yeah, that's really aggravating. I don't know why he's visiting the border now. My thought was if I would see him at the border, I would tell him to go home. Go home. Why are you even here now? Why do you wait till the end of your presidency to visit the border now? What, well, what is the reason for you doing it now? Well, he's looking at the it's poll numbers. Late. It's the number one issue yeah. in the minds of most American voters. That's why. That's the only reason he's going. Um, it's by the too way, late. Tammy, it's too yeah. late. Well, it's it's time for a new president. By opinion. the way, yeah, a new poll is showing Tammy that for the first time, a majority of Americans now do favor the construction of a border wall, the one that Trump tried to build for a measly $5 billion. We've sent $100-plus billion to Ukraine. They wouldn't give him five for the border wall, but now Americans are finally starting to realize, man, we got a, we got a major problem here. Well, we should have done that a long time ago, and then lives like Kayla and Lakeland, they, um, they would have never died. If we would have done that a long time ago, say, lives would have been saved. Lots of lives would have been saved, even the fentanyl deaths. Tammy, um, I know Lake and Riley's family is in, in mourning, but your message tonight to Joe Biden, Alejandro Mayorkas, Kamala Harris, all of the Democrats who for years said this was not a crisis and who say they do not bear responsibility for this. Oh, they sure are responsible for their deaths. Both their deaths and other deaths could have been prevented if they would have done their job at the border and made sure it's secure. We come first. Americans should come first, not last. Our safety matters. Their lives matter. Tammy, we're so sorry. Uh, I mean, words don't describe how infuriated I am and heartbroken I am for you and for all the families across the country who are suffering tonight. Um, Thank you so much Thank for you. sharing your story. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.